Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video, Alanip here. I know this is kind of a late one. I've been super duper duper busy trying to get my new PC set up. And if you don't, if you know anything about PCs, you know how painful and time consuming it is to set up a new PC. All your programs, all your settings, all your files, all your passwords and everything. You gotta set everything up. So I finished it now. Um, I, I got everything set up. I think I'm good to rock and roll now. So this is like a little test. Hopefully everything is a-okay. Um, hopefully the quality and all that is good. Uh, I love the new PC. It's pretty goddamn awesome. Very, very powerful. I, I might do like a uh, specs link kind of thing in the description if I remember. Uh, but uh, I will be doing a stream later today. That is the plan. I don't know what time it is. I'm still kind of trying to get everything out, like, you know, all my editing softwares. Because the most difficult, tedious part is, like, the settings. Because, you know, once you set them, you can save them. But I forget them. So it's getting a time. I'm literally just spending a lot of time trying to get all my settings back. But uh, hopefully we'll get there in the end. Uh, this is the first video on the first new machine. That doesn't make any sense. The first video on the new machine. There we go. So uh, this mod is called County Base Main Characters of GTA 5, made by Dimmy One. So let's check this out, have a little look around and see what we can find. Before we begin, it is located over here in this little pool of water here next to the dam. Uh, so let's just uh, have a look around. Alright, here we bloody go. So that's the house there. It looks pretty kind of well fenced off or guarded off it looks like a pretty difficult house to get into but it's kind of dangerous isn't it what if this water level rises like you're screwed right because it kind of looks like the water could rise to all the way up here right and it's kind of just chilling there surely the house will get submerged maybe not so we're gonna have a look at the outside first and then we'll head inside it looks like you know there's a couple of details outside here also i got some mouth herpes don't make fun of me i'm very sensitive about it but this looks like a garage we've got some couple of garage details here definitely pretty nice like oil and then some engine thingamajig is whatever these called so that's pretty decent good details there very very fancy and the same can be said over at the other side so you could probably store up to maybe like two or three cars in here i reckon like two cars and a bike maybe so that's decent so you know in total you could have probably like more than four cars in here very good so around here you got a propane tank you got a water tank there it's a little rusty though sure it's a little bit dangerous you got a little shed here probably electricity more water so it's quite selfish efficient area i guess there is a helicopter pad here as well a bit of a dodgy landing because you kind of have to land it like at a correct angle because it looks like it might not fit otherwise kind of freaky and dangerous but hey that's all right and over here we have canister full of a fragile items very 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 nice so, i don't know maybe supplies maybe something like that and here is a nice little kind of dock area you can do some docking am i right giggity, giggity, giggity. anybody knows what that means but no this is where you can put the boat i guess or you can take a little bit of a dip you know you just bam take a little cheeky dip and you're swimming away with the mermaids so let's head into this house. It kind of reminds me of like old person's house. I don't know why, but let's go inside. Shabam, we're inside. So first room, this is the personal little gym. Looks pretty fancy. Got everything you need, I guess. You got loads of weights, loads of free weights. Got machines to do your cardio. But it looks like there's everything you need here to work out. You got all your balls and <laughs> you got all your balls there. That's good. You don't want to lose a ball because that'd be awkward. Through here, we have the kitchen by the looks of things. You got a nice grill, two fridges. I think this is the kitchen. I mean, I don't really... There's not really a... Um, so there's not really like a cooker, is there? I mean, there's two fridges. You've got your slushy machine, or whatever these are called. you got your coffee machine, a microwave, buy out your pots and pans. I guess you have to grill everything. I mean, that's probably not a bad thing. I like grilled, you know, grilled chicken and all that stuff. So that's probably all right. You just have to grill everything. Down in this room, we have the, I guess, nerd cave slash man cave. Right in here, we have the cameras, everything. So this guy maybe likes to take photos or something more creepier, like he might like to make videos of something. <laughs> Am I right, giggity, giggity? Or he's just a fucking loser YouTuber like me. But he does have a better equipment setup than me. So it looks like there's a team of three people that can sit here. I think he has a little bit something more dodgy than just a YouTube channel going on here. Yeah, definitely. But that's kind of cool. He's got everything you need here. Pretty decent. Uh, loads of details going on here. Massive TV. So pretty nice cave. Through here looks like... Well, the guy's not... Oh, so maybe he's a music dude. There's a studio here. I was going to say, oh, this guy's really creepy. He's got loads of studios set up. So there's another studio here. Music set up. Pretty goddamn cool. You can do all the mixtapes and all that stuff. Can we go inside here? Yes, we can. This is pretty cool. So there is a music studio here. You, you can record, you know, guitars, singers, all that good stuff. So that's kind of cool. You can record actually shit. 
people can watch here and stuff so that's pretty pretty cool there's an actual studio inside this house i do like that maybe that explains this area because this could be like the post-production area or editing or whatever the case might be there that makes more sense now it's not quite as creepy oh so now it makes a lot more sense so this guy's got some type of setup here where he shoots stuff so maybe a film producer amateur film producer Maybe he just does videos or something, you know, who, who, who knows, right? He could be the YouTuber, Pood Pie, Pood Pie, Ebony, Pood Pie. Got lots of cameras here. I'm kind of jealous of that camera. That looks like a good camera. Pretty decent, though. I like the details here. There's also a nice little TV here with the gaming setup here. Look at this. He's got loads of controllers, loads of rigs here. Very nice. Got everything you need. What the hell is this thing? Uh, that looks like do not touch top of button. It's just a button on, on the sofa. That looks like if you touch that, everything's going to blow up. So, interesting button. Got some snacks here as well. General I just thought was weird. I'd be like, yeah, so that's cool. You have that in your house, but then you have to pay to get the snack. What if you're thirsty and you don't have one dollar to pay to get a drink? Are you screwed? Like your friends come over, you're like, yeah, there's some drinks in the bag. They're like, yeah, just get what you want. You go in there, oh, great, my friends give me a drink. You go there, and it's a freaking vending machine. It's like, oh, I don't really have any coins. Through here, looks like we have the bedroom, the first bedroom. So there's one bedroom here. Looks decent enough. Got everything you need. You got your bed, you got your TV. All the details you need. Pretty clean. Pretty clean. So there was one room over here. Let's check this out. It looks like it is the entertainment room. Got a bunch of drinks here. Pretty fancy. Nice bunch of games. You got a sofa, TV, basketball game. I love these games. I absolutely love them. Ping pong table. You got pool table. Snooker. All that good stuff. Pretty fancy. Nice. Everything you need. Through here is also another bedroom. So there's two bedrooms in this room or in this house, which are pretty decent. I like this. I like this. Good, good detail. I mean, I don't know if these furniture things fit here because they look kind of old, outdated. But everything else seems pretty decent. Like this, this thing here, that kind of looks old, outdated wood. Uh, this as well, old, outdated. Uh, this as well. They kind of look like they're just going to crumble. I don't know. Anybody else think that? But apart from that, pr pr pretty decent. Pretty, pretty goddamn decent. Oh, yeah, man. Pretty goddamn nice chairs, dude. And then through here, I think there's a back area bit where you can get the helicopter and get the fuck out. So, overall, I like it. It's pretty goddamn decent. got nice details. It looks different than all the other houses. Location is a little bit different as well, but kind of questionable if a little bit of a flood happens. I think this house is going to go downtown underground, if you know what I mean. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, favorite, all the good stuff. That's how much I'm to grow. Uh, we'll be back to business tomorrow. Live streaming twice a day. All the good stuff will be back in business very, very soon. Uh... So hopefully you guys understand. But uh, let's get rid of this and see what disappears. Uh, a one, a two, a three, and shabam. There she all goes. Pretty goddamn sweet. I'll see you next time, guys. Subscribe for more. And thanks for watching. Bye.